This is Josiah Plays, 1954 Alcatraz. Continuing with January, we are here in Alcatraz. We are playing our, uh, our character Joe here. We have a variety of objects. Questionable objects, like a seagull egg. And we're trying to sneak around in the in the hospital section of the prison. There's a bunch of COs standing around over there not doing their jobs. Let's look at this garbage. When I need to make a dummy to take my place around here, these might come in handy. When I need to make a dummy... So I am going to make a... A dummy head for my bed, just like the real person did. When I need to make a dummy to take my place around here, these might come in handy. When I need to make a... Rules and rags. Hospital rules. Sick call is after lunch. Most guys get sent back to their cell. Don't keep empty bottles. You go to prison now they give you a book it's not a very big book it's a very small book but they give you this little book called the code of penal discipline that tells you all the rules hospital rules sick call is after lunch all right, i don't care most guys get sent don't won't need it i got it memorized COPD, Code of Penal Discipline. The great thing about it being written out so explicitly and in so much detail is it allows you to find loopholes in it, just like a lawyer with the real law. So you can get away with shit if you, if you read the COPD carefully and you're clever. Technically... <laughs> All right, what's in the operating room? I'm not. Looks like the doc is having a nap. Convenient. The fuck is happening in here? It won't help me escape. It won't help me escape. Hank's dying of TB. I don't need paperwork. Back when people regularly died of TB. If I had a few more months, I could turn it into an outboard propeller. Maybe in some parts of the world, people still do die of TB regularly. I'm not sure. That'll come in handy. What, what am I taking? Wait, did I just... Okay, so That'll I can come in handy. I can move this chair somewhere. I can use this chair on something in the environment. I can't actually like put the chair in my inventory or anything. But okay, that's interesting. Bruno's got a bullet in his skull. That's why he rings the metal detectors. Chiquita's scheduled for a lobotomy. Lobotomy? What? Here's Birdman's jacket. Homicidal. Obsessed with birds. Okay, knew that. Obsessed with cleanliness. Plays chess with his guards. Hmm. No escape record. Hmm. No escape record. I don't need paperwork. A direct line to the Alcatraz switchboard. It can't call out to the city. It won't help me escape. Impressive lamp. It can't be removed without a huge hassle. Mm -hmm. A huge hassle. Tommy's bucket here. A bloody bucket? This place is running out of cash. Bad things have gone down with Tommy. Christine will laugh about this. Am I spittoon diving right now? 
I'm spittoon diving. People tend to bleed more than read here on Alcatraz. Got a bloody shirt. It's a weird thing to take. I better prop that table up with something. It'll be perfect as a bar spreader. Use the chair to prop up the table so I can take the jack. I can't believe the fucking operating table is being held up with a card jack. What kind of a shit show are they running here? It's Joe Science time. If I just pull the jack out, the doc will wake up. Damn it, I need that. He's sleeping. Wake him? No. It won't help me escape. It won't help me escape. Then why the fuck does it have a magnifying glass? A sink. A lot of blood has washed down its throat. I'm clean. All right, let's put the chair under the table. That'll come in handy. I don't get it. When you're sharp, you're right. Perfect plan. Carjack. Also useful as a bar spreader. Its handle is missing. It's a crank handle. Handle isn't so much missing as right the fuck here. Okay. The car jack is working again. <laughs> Acting like he repaired some shit. I just inserted the handle into the hole that's right there for the handle to go in. Car jack. Ready for action. Rep fixed it. Fixed it. Mechanic, everybody. Mechanic. All right. Let's, let's go back out. So she takes all five to her bedroom. Isolation room. Wait, is this my room? Staring at the bed won't help. The lizard wanted to leave his... This is literally my room. It's a cheap low-watt bulb. Nothing left. Okay. Fix the car jack. Science 100. That ball breaker. You should have seen the thing she wrote. It's locked. If only I had a bobby pin. No, the nail won't do too much good here. I don't think I'm supposed to be getting into that other ward. Can I pick the lock with a dime? I'll keep my dime. Not one of those situations that require a wrench. This guy's not creative enough when it comes to wrenches. That's no way to treat a car. Jack? Really? Okay. Old light switch. An old light switch. It's disconnected. Burned out long ago. Hmm. Girly calendar. I'll take it later, if I find someone who wants to trade. And... A towel! Oh, this game just got good. Did I just add that to my rope? Apparently I made a rope out of a towel. I'll tie these together. Wait, I already had 16 feet of rope. Now I've tied them together and it says I have 16 feet of rope. Almost there. I just need another 8 feet. 
Okay, but I think it's still counting at this 24. Say something. Cleaning fluid. That'll come in handy. Cleaning fluid. Not the right pair. A small broken window. All secure. No escape that way. Cables delivering power. Cables, you Turn say? Turn off power now will just alert the guards. Might have been a good play in some other escape. Too late to change plans now. Wait, there was more than one escape? Muriatic acid. Making shit up. Good find. The fuck is muriatic acid? Muriatic acid. Don't just say the name of it again. I better be careful with the acid. A list of fuses and what circuits they protect. This seems like a good thing to give convicts access to. Not being locked up or anything. In a room that's also not locked up. No wonder Alcatraz went out of business. I should leave it. If I need it, it's here. Routes power to the operating room. It's welded shut. I'll never open it. Fuses and other small parts. Distilled from a myriad of places. Interesting. The last repairman left a TK-421, which can also be used on phones, as you probably know. I mean, who are you even talking to right now, Joe? A phone jack I stole from the hospital. Hmm. Nothing I need to take. Oh, another name for hydrochloric acid, okay. You should have seen the thing she wrote. So, just out of pure science here. What happens if I just go the direction where the COs are? If I want to leave the hospital, I should ring from inside my cell. Don't want them knowing I'm free. That's a good point. It was Joe Science. Alright, let's go to the Birdman's room. Oh, he's talking with an invisible guard. It's fine. He's chaperoned. Hank's window. I wonder if it's still loose. Well, he's got his own panic button. Panic button? I heard that Doc had to use that when Birdman tried to kill him. That'll just send guards. I'll be caught and never get away. A nice, comfortable chair. Stroud has some luxuries. <laughs> but he's never allowed out of his room. The world you live in when a fucking wooden chair is some luxuries. <laughs> Ooh, you have a chair! S somebody's living the dream. Sit down and chat? I'll send him a note from Hawaii. He wouldn't want to be without it? It was given to him as an act of charity? Those were back to back. I'd fault you for bad jokes, but then I wouldn't have a leg to stand on.
Right now, I'm just making these up by the seat of my pants. Worn out sink. Birdman cleans obsessively. That sink won't help me. Journals on birds and bird diseases. I don't need to read bird books. I haven't read much since I got here. Bird diseases. It's soaked over. Birdman's a little paranoid. It's not important to my escape. Hank's window. I wonder if it's still loose. Can't touch it while I'm outside his room. But I sure want to. Hmm. Same lock on every ward room. How convenient. If you come in here, I'll kill you. You can try. I'm using your window to start my escape. Never. I'm not asking. You may kill me, but you'll lose an eye doing it. Whoa, this just got serious. I'll kill you and whistle while I do it. I don't need to kill you. What do you want? If you give me a tribute, I'll show you what you're looking for. A tribute. Staring at the bed won't help. I need to keep moving. No, I need to get him that book, Can't right? Can't touch it while I'm outside his room. A book that I need. But I sure want to. My wife to get for me. I'll need to deal with Birdman before I barge inside. He's bugged out. I mean, I literally have an old library card for Stroud's digest on the diseases of birds. It's literally his Christine book. Christine would know to find it. I mean, I'm sure the Birdman would appreciate seeing his book in print. That's a pretty well telegraphed solution. It's the Birdman. He likes being called Mr. Stroud. If you give me a treat, I'll sh- Alright, so I gotta get that book. How to do that is another question entirely. I'm reading this one crook's mail. The guy here. Alright, let's go back into... Let's go back into my room, push the button, tell him I want to leave. I guess it works that way. Here, we'll put you in this cell in the hospital because you need to be in the hospital. Oh, you want to leave? No problem. Oh, you want to come back later? No problem. This is just a do whatever the fuck you want prison, apparently. Oh yeah, I should shut my door. That was a lucky mistake right there. Are you buzzing that? What happened to your light? Oh yeah, I gotta see the chaplain. Need to talk to Charlie. Just gotta tell Birdman about his Twitter following. <laughs> nice. I don't feel well. I want to see the chaplain. Don't die on me, 1229. I need the damn chaplain to get this book from my wife. Or something. Or Mason. Father. Yes? Mm. I got work to do. So you're good with books, aren't you? I'm good with the book. I dig it. Anyway, do you think you could get me this one? I'm afraid that's impossible. My wife can probably help you find it. Be that as it may, it's illegal. All I can give you is spiritual guidance. Thanks, but no thanks. Okay, I respect your convictions, but how do you feel about a dime? I'll keep my dime. How about some acid? That's a waste. Okay. Look, ah, oh, blood on my shirt can only be solved by having that book. We gotta conserve our resources. 
but look, I'm married. I'd only take it off if I was in a really tight spot. What do you think about this, Hank? That won't help me get my hand. Bloody short okay resources, <laughs> yeah. What's the word? Gas pipes looking to carve you up. You ready? I'm working on it. We've already dealt with gas pipe. Take care of yourself, Gramps. Mason? I know this guy Sacred talks to prayers. my wife. Not yet. Make it quick. Come on, Mason. That won't help me get my hands on the Birdman's book. So I need to find a way to convince the chaplain, I think, because... Nothing important. Nice work. The speaker for the projector. The cheapest they could find. Fixed. It's a sturdy model. They used them in the army. A damn waste of a good machine. I suppose I shouldn't say damn here. Okay, so the interesting thing is... I can't leave. I can't just wander out into the prison. So I believe at this point the only places I have access to are the hospital and the... This place. So I must be able to get the chaplain to do this for me without having to go to any other locations. The question is how? Ain't gonna happen. Nothing worth taking. Maybe the seagull egg is a tribute. I didn't try giving the seagull egg prayers. to the bird man. I have. Try not to wear out the panic button, 1229. That ball breaker. You should have seen the things she wrote. I'm a bird genius. They took away all my birds. I sold 12,000 copies of my book on bird disease. That's not my book, though. I never got to see it. Hmm, so the bird egg didn't work. He did take it, though. Interesting. He did take it. How do I get the chaplain... to... agree... to talk to my wife about the book? It's the Birdman. He likes being called Mr. Stroud. I'm a bird. I saw. All right, yeah, we could try giving him the library card. That won't help me get my hands on the Birdman's book. Maybe share my plan with him? I'll keep this plan to myself. Can I use this phone? Oh yeah, how do I get I... It's locked. Well, none of my things will acid get me through this door. Better be careful with the acid. Can I do something with this shiv handle? No, the nail won't do too much good here. Ain't gonna happen. Acid shiv. Ain't gonna happen. Wrench shiv. No go. Okay. 
Dime shift. Ain't gonna happen. Dime wrench. No go. Ain't gonna happen. They won't fit together. There is a phone in here, but... I wasn't really able to do anything with it earlier. I'm not. A direct line to the Alcatraz switchboard. It can't call out to the city. It won't help me escape. There was that thing about the Birdman being like a clean freak. Maybe that's something I could use to my advantage somehow. But it seems like I don't have anything to convince the Birdman of at this point. I need to get that damn book. His wife's divorcing him for his brother. I don't know how to convince the chaplain. I'll need to deal with Birdman before I barge inside. He's bugged out. Hmm. Ain't gonna happen. I thought maybe I could freak him out with the bloody shirt or something because... No. You know. He likes cleaning stuff. No go. Dangerous mixture. I've got a smoke bomb. Oh. A smoke screen I can make any time. Now that is interesting. I'll keep my dime. I'm reading this one crook's mail. The guy here. I feel like the thing that needs to happen is... I'll take it later, if I find someone who wants to trade. I need to convince the chaplain. It's disconnected. Burned out long ago. No need for that. And that's not going to work. A resistor I stole from the public phone. I couldn't resist her. I really know what a resistor is. There goes another five seconds of my life. Oh, you got jokes. That's a waste. No. A list of fuses and what circuits they protect. I should leave it. If I need it, it's here. This is for later. Maybe I have to do something on the outside with... Um, his divorcing him for his brother. With Christine first, before I can convince this priest. I might need to switch characters. Just in case, I'm gonna go back in my room. Interesting, I can't actually close the door. Why is windowsill a thing? No time to sit and stare out the window. Nothing to help my escape. No more. An old sink. Can I Everything's walk? falling apart. Can I wash this shirt? Ain't gonna happen. Okay. Alright, let's switch to Christine. The nail came from the windowsill? Okay. 
so empty when I'm without you. Mickey can't fool the world much longer. I'm not sick anymore. The doctor says I'm all right. Can we talk some? Okay. We'll talk there. Oh, yeah. I'm still trying to figure out the combination to get into his safe. So, I found out something interesting. Yeah? It didn't actually. The mermaid and the girl... Why won't you let... <laughs> I'm... That's it for now. Medical book. A medical book on germs and viruses. Looks well read. I'm getting the impression that Mickey's... Maybe I can... No time to read. I need to go talk to the priest. I'll walk you out. <clears throat> Maybe I can somehow convince him from the outside. So lonely, so empty when Let's I'm just see if I can do anything else with Gaspipe's wife. Hi, B. Can't talk. Now that we fought with Gaspipe, maybe something's different with his wife who's oh she's gone so there is something different with his wife in that she's literally gone she'd be a great combat photographer nothing scares her how can i he's put check the scene okay i got a scram nothing to unlock here check the safe What did this guy want? I got this feet. What's the angle on? All I do, and God. Did he spill it because he didn't? Yeah, elliptically. I told him not to. You. Well, I'll let. You... Well, take and right. Hold it right there. Joe said only someone who knows the passphrase. Oh, uh, the passphrase, right. Fidelio? Joe loves Beethoven. I, for one, think good old Ludwig is highly overrated. Sorry, then. Hands off that fridge or I'll put you down. Guess I need Joe's passphrase. Kind of a yep. psychopath for a playwright. <laughs> Let's try talking to the priest and see if there's something the priest wants. Father's working late. I need some information from Joe. Could you ask him for me? I can't. I guess you'll have to wait for the next monthly visit. May the Lord bless your confused mind. Maybe you should have some more tea. See, so the priest is blowing off both of us and not really indicating that there's anything I could do to change his mind. I better hold on to it. I wish there were angels. But I think in this world, we gotta save ourselves. 
lot of craftsmanship there. Wonder if those artists did it for the bread, or were they believers? Secure window. No one's coming through. It's weird that that window exists. Do you like records? That would be a waste of jazz. Needs more planar ally, right? Hmm. It keeps saying something about have more tea. I wonder if there's, if I, I mean, I'm getting a tea cup, or maybe it's a coffee cup, I don't know, Caffeine. whenever. Maybe I could get tea and bring it to him and he would. Wish I could nap here a while. All the writers and artists and poets who drifted by. Fifty years from now, no one will remember their names. Winter melon tea. Those folks are gone. Fucking Dale. Let's go to Mexico. No. I haven't been south of market in years. Wow. Okay. I got nothing more to say. Hey, tomato. Sutter. Yeah. <sighs> they don't. Maddie's happy shit. again. Another marriage saved by lies and coffee. There's not, like, a back room of this place that I can go to? The answer is no. Winter melon tea. You'd think there'd be a back room. You would think that. I'll tidy it up for tomorrow. Can I get some making titles up? That's over. <laughs> That's over. She's like, nah, I ain't going back in that kitchen. This one looks lucky. Don't touch those. Ah, okay, got it. Hmm, it's intriguing. They're only valuable to Viv. Looks like old photos. Maybe family she's left behind. You like old photos, huh? Get that away from me. I got too much stuff already. All right, calm down. I'll leave it. She likes it here. No place to hide anything up there. Don't touch that dial. Viv can't miss her stories. Can't read them. You trying to learn Chinese? You should have sent some to Joe. He's got all the time. Not time to turn the page yet. I don't have time to tidy other people's homes. Too heavy to lug around. They're dripping with ink. From ink stained gloves. It's nice of you to visit. Have to compliment the nephew, you? Maybe. I don't know what to do next. Your nephew is kind of a hunk. I wish you wouldn't hang around those beads so much. They're all talk, no action. He should be in an outlaw motorcycle club. Wow, okay. Just need till the end of the month. Are you coming into some money soon? Oh, I don't know. We better change the topic. What do you know about the... 
He might. He was renovated. The cops. What's the end? Dupont. Dupont Street. Oh, that's rip. Yeah, I've already done that. It's nice of you to visit. I found these. Pr you were in on this. That wasn't real. I promise not to. T you owe me. You need false paper. A clean set of doc. No. It's not what I need right now. Not getting your drift. Nothing to unlock here. The combo to Mickey's safe, according to B. But it's actually not. I don't know how to convince this priest to help me as either Christine or Joe. It's a big old church. What did you think it was? I'd like to steal that cross. Gold leaf. He's sleeping. He said a guy ran from the armored truck to the church. A white guy. Sounded like Mickey. Yeah, and I can't even ask the priest about that or Mickey. Can I just... now the cat's over here. A stray hepcat. I never know quite where he's at. What would you do, cat? <coughs> no time to fall in. I got work. It's cold and lonely. Everyone I know is at the cafe. Nothing inside to help me. <laughs> Mismatched underwear. I never have time to hang them properly. I literally have no idea what to do. I don't know how to get this combination sorted out. Another rising star so won't be long before she She can't talk to me. You. Nothing to unlock you here. Me. Nothing to unlock here. Nothing you to unlock here. Nothing to unlock here. We'll no. This thing might help me against Mickey. I better keep it safe. The moon. Not getting your drift. No. This thing might help me against Mickey. I better keep it safe. I was thinking maybe the measurements were supposed to be like her measurements or something. Hiya, Christine. And they're not right. And Welcome if I back. could just figure out what the real measurements were, then that would be the combination or something. But. Nothing there except the. Beautiful club mermaid. Looking good. More later. It's the measurements for Goldie the Mermaid. Combo to Mickey's heart. 
Wait. She put on a little weight in all the right places. It worked. I fixed the measurements. Combo to Mickey's heart. It's the measurements for Goldie the Mermaid. All right, so now I should be able to get into the safe if I just by using the safe combo on her. Yeah, it's a little bit unintuitive, but so empty. I'm not adventure sick game logic. The doctor says I'm all right. Can okay, we'll talk. Th you told me. This guy is fooled so, by the same I found out some I'm not sick. Oh no, I am sick thing. That's it for now. Whoa, I feel kind of woozy. I think I got bookworm. That ain't funny. Why are you scratching? I don't know. It keeps itching. I think my cat gave me fleas. What? I Gotta wash up. Stick around. I'll be right back. Just gotta hit the washroom. Now hopefully I can open the safe. Don't touch anything. Oh, I'm touching things. <sighs> Already tired. That's it. Some negatives. A couple contracts. A bullet dispenser. And a business ledger. A gun. Ah, and my key. I got everything. She got so much stuff. I wasn't ready for that talk. I think it's his direct line to the mob. Or some mouthpiece for the mob. A ledger. So I have the three Some keys lock now. Is waiting for this key. But I still don't have the passphrase, so the three keys don't actually do me any good. Negative of the chaplain. He's marrying two guys together. I don't quite know what to think about that. I think it's the most. Apparently I can use this to blackmail the chaplain, even though it's not really something I should be blackmailing over. Goldie the Mermaid's contract. I'm a pistol packin' mama. Mickey's secret ledger. It's even even secreter than his other ledger. Comparing these numbers is more exciting than I would have thought. Mickey stole money from the mafia. If someone tells him, he'll be a dead man. Oh boy, I got the goods on Mickey. He's dead if the right people find out. The goods. I need to save before I do anything else. The goods, hashtag the goods. What if I'm just like secret ledgers phone to the mob? Ma'am, I've been auditing Mickey's books and there are some irregularities. So? Well, he left the safe open by mistake and this ledger he keeps inside doesn't match the one on his desk. Really? Read it out to me. January 16th, 1954. He wrote down five grand as broken inventory. But then his other ledger says he spent it at the Tanferan racetrack. Payment $10,000. Jesus, that lady, you did the right thing. Well, if you want to ask him about it, you'll have to wait till tomorrow. He'll be leaving the office around 4 a.m. Beautiful. I hope you and I never meet. Good night. So I basically just got Mickey killed. I should warn the girls. Goldie the Mermaid's contract. I don't want to call again and screw up the play. Mickey's deep in debt to the mob. And he writes like a ten-year-old. So... Can I do something with Goldie's contract now? Give it to Goldie, maybe? I'll walk you. Hey, girls, you're out of jobs. See ya, toots. Basically. So lonely. 
Shooting around so randomly might lead to trouble. Shooting around randomly might lead to trouble. No dice. You told me. All right, let's go to Goldie. Bodyguard's gonna have a bad day. Yeah. I think the mob's making a move tonight. You might want to close early. What's the four alarm? Hmm. Wait, what? Hope they won't notice. Got a call from the boys. It's okay. They gave me till the end of the month. They say you just ain't worth it. What? Oh! Oh, oh shit. Uh... Now your money belongs to me. Christ. Hashtag January. Jeez. I was with you for the last half hour, okay? Uh-huh. Uh, and don't go out the back tonight. Looking good. That More was later. Pretty serious. I got your contract from Mickey. You're a free mermaid. Free to swim the seven seas. Just promise that you'll help me and Joe out if we need something from you one day. Can you do that? I hope so. Oh, I see. She's gonna help us when we have to do the boat thing. The beautiful club mermaid. Looking good. More later. Way too big for me. I don't know where to fence coats like that. I like touching fabrics. There's a lot of random stuff in this room that... I don't need it. And probably neither do they. Seems worthless. Is Mickey's dead body out here? Now well, there's blood. Classy bushes. Can I just hide in the bushes and sleep? No. Keep going. Don't give up. Get a hold of yourself. Oh, I think we all know what that is. Don't need to touch it. Nothing inside. Nah, it's empty. Bullet casings just laying there. Kind of a amateur ass hitman is this dude. Horse hitch. Which is silly. The building isn't that old. Long faced horsey. Yeah, I thought something might be in the drain afterwards too, but I guess not. I wonder if his bodyguard is now running the place. So lonely. So empty. Hi, B. How's Biz? Can't talk here. Meet me in the powder room. You told me. What? Okay, got a scram. Can't talk to her about any of these developments? She'd be a great combat photographer. Nothing scares her. Nothing scares her, huh? What about this? Shooting around randomly might lead to trouble. Okay. Hashtag January. Uh, do you know anything about this? Can you develop this negative for me? No problem, but I have to run home to do it. Okay, I'll check back with you later. When is later exactly? Here's the print. Oh, it's a later. What's the photo of? The priest is in the center. He's doing a wedding ceremony. He's marrying two guys to each other. <gasps> Maddie and Sutter. I can't believe they didn't invite me to their wedding. You know, I took that picture. Mickey stole it from me to blackmail the priest. How did you get your hands on it? 
I snatched it from Mickey. You did? Well, those are my friends getting married in the photo. I... I want them to have the photograph. That's great, Christine. Give them the negative too, will ya? Sure. You can trust me. I'm lying. That's not... I'm not gonna give it to my friends. I'm gonna use the blackmail the priest, obviously. Okay, gotta scram. Be seeing you. Definitely nothing to worry about. Nothing of interest out back, right? A photo of the father, marrying Sutter and Maddie. I mean, it's literally called blackmail photo when you... <laughs> when you mouse over it. I wonder what happens if I go in Mickey's office they now. They could be in there eating spaghetti and meatballs. So I should be glad I got the keys and scram. Cheese it, the mafia! I got a scram! I wonder if the mob's calling the shots around here now. You told me you scram! The, the jig is up! Hmm. Okay, so obviously I could go back to the priest now. I wonder if I can use the gun as my passcode with this guy. <laughs> like, oh, you want to know what the passphrase is? I got six of them right here. I don't think it works that way, though. I guess it's worth Joe sciencing. Get your fucking passphrase. Hold it right there. Joe said only someone who knows the passphrase can open the fridge. Hashtag January. I have no idea. Sorry then. Hands off that fridge or I'll put you down. Guess I need Joe's passphrase. Yep. Or? Shooting around randomly might lead to trouble. Okay. Nope, I'm beat. All right. We'll go to the priest. Scram like a scampering rascal. Scramming. Well, hello, chaplain. I need some information from Joe. Could you ask him for me? I can't. I guess you'll have to wait for the next monthly visit. May the Lord bless your confused mind. Apparently Maybe you should have some more tea. Apparently you've been doing something which is completely fine in today's context, but which in 1954 was a no-no. What? Recognize it? What do you want? You work on Alcatraz, right? Let's talk, my child. <laughs> this way. I know what you did. I got the photo. You'll be defrocked. It all comes from love. God loves everyone. I thought you'd be him. You had to fight to marry Joe. Look, I hate to use this against you, but if you want the negative, you gotta help me and Joe stay in touch. I guess I have no other choice. Let me know what you need. Hmm. I'll let you know what I need, but I need... About our deal. You promised to help me and Joe. Okay, but only if you keep that photo secret. What do you want? What were those pictures doing in Mickey's safe? He started blackmailing me a couple of days after I married Sutter and Maddie. I've been at his mercy ever since. Mickey can't make you do anything now. I need you to ask Joe for some information for me. If you insist. Tell him, Evan guards the fridge. He'll know what that means, I hope. I'll let you know what he said. Did you already ask Joe about Evan and the fridge? Not yet, but I'll take the first ferry to Alcatraz in the morning. You'd better. And then you can tell me a fairy tale. I'll cut you some slack. See you around, Padre. 
All right, I feel like it's time to switch back to Joe. Maybe now I can talk to the chaplain and he'll be useful. Are you buzzing that? What happened to your light? I don't feel well. I want to see the chaplain. Don't die on me, 1229. How's the beach? I saw your femme at confession. Look, I know you love your wife. I want to help you guys out, honestly. But helping convicts is dangerous. I gotta be careful. Why would you help us, Father? Let's just say your dame is quite good at negotiating. I know. Christine asked me to tell you, Evan guards the fridge. The fridge? She's already there. I'll write you a note for her. Next chance I get, I'll bring it to your doll. I promise I won't read it. Sure Not you too won't. worried there. No one will be able to make much of what I wrote. Not even God. But also, we need to talk about this book thing. So you're good with books. I'm good with the... Anyway. Ah, he's doing it now. Don't tell me what it's for. I don't want to know. My wife can probably help you find it. I'll let her know. Perfect. Father. Yes? Did you give Christine the note I gave you? Not yet, but I'll call her in the evening. Not yet, okay. I'm still standing right here. About the book you wanted to get me. Now it's up to your dame. I'll let you know if she had any luck. Just imagining a priest saying the word dame just is so outside of all genre convention that I can think of. I got work to do. That's like a priest saying scram. Christine, I'm glad you followed the call of the Lord. Yeah, thanks for phoning me up. What's up, Father? Your husband asked me to give you this. What's that? A book card from a library? Looks like he's searching for a certain book. Book? I hope that eventually his way will lead him to the one right book. Your husband asked me to give you this. A note. Thanks, Father. It's a You're note. You're blackmailing me. Remember? I didn't commit this crime by choice. Yeah, yeah. So then Jesus finished praying in the Garden of Gethsemane and rejoined his apostles. And Peter said, Jesus, the Romans! We gotta scram! <laughs> Father's working late. Stroud's Digest on the Diseases of Birds. For whatever reason, Joe needs that book. Joe wrote, Tell the Sphinx, pack for Mexico. Use the B, the V, then the S. Ask V to help us cross the line. Guess that means he wants Viv to forge passports for us. Yeah, no shit. Okay. Well, alright, now we're making good progress. Now there's stuff I can, I know I can directly do. It all came down to using that measurements thing on the mermaid. Um, okay, so I can go to the bookstore to get the book first. I have credit for like two books, so it shouldn't be a problem. For once, I'm here to get a book. I'll trade you. I'm looking for novels by Evan Camfield. Aren't we all? Okay, I got the credit, so here, give me my damn book. Say, I'm looking for a book. It's called Stroud's Digest on the Diseases of Birds. Check the rare bookshelf. Okay. 
interesting book. Stroud's Digest on the Diseases of Birds. Interesting. What did Boo write on this tag? By the notorious Birdman of Alcatraz. Can I use my credit for this one? Uh-huh. Thanks. Excellent. Stroud's Digest on the Diseases of Birds. Bird book do loo do do. I said bird book do loo do loo do. It's got birds. It's a book. That's what we call it. Bird book. Hashtag bird book. All right, jackass. I better keep it. Well, take care. Try not to shoot anyone, and write me a bittersweet ending. Hold it right there. Joe said only someone who knows the passphrase can open the fridge. Pack for Mexico. That's right. Fridge is yours. If you see Joe, tell him we're even. Simple enough. Okay, easy there. A booby trap safe. How the hell am I gonna discern this thing? Looks like there are three keys missing. B, V, and S. Yes. Joe wrote, tell the Sphinx, pack for Mexico. Use the B, the V, then the S. Ask V to help us cross the line. Guess that means he wants Viv to forge passports for us. Joe wrote, No! Tell, ask, guess. A booby trap safe. How the hell am I gonna discern this thing? What happens if I just Looks click like on it right now? There are three keys missing B, V, and S. A really gaudy church would have all the amen it is. And risk being blown to pieces? I don't think so. It'd be worth it if it also like blows up this guy. Keys. Yeah, I got it about the three keys. Thank you. Joe's note says use the B, the V, then the S. Okay, then. Here we go. Hooray! This is it. The money. Damn it, Joe. You could have just told me about this. I shouldn't carry the money around with me. No shit. Joe wrote that I should ask Viv to help us cross the line. I have to get her to forge us passports. I'll leave the cash in the safe and come back for it later. Damn it, Joe. You could have I shouldn't carry the money around with me. Joe wrote that I should... I have to... I'll leave the cash... Am I just gonna leave this fucking sitting wide open now with with fucking Chungus McGee here? And before we come back and this dude has run off with all the money. I need to re-secure this somehow. Okay. Let's just to be safe, let's murder this guy. Shooting around randomly might lead to okay. trouble. Hashtag January. All right, so I need to get the book to the priest so he can give the book to Joe so that Joe can talk to Birdman. The author is the insert of the game developer into the game or such, you think? IDK. About our deal. You promised to help me and Joe. Okay, but only if you keep that photo secret. What do you want? Mm. Again, about that kite you brought from Joe. I don't know what it says, and I don't want to. The Lord is testing my faith by forcing me to help you. Personally, what's happening? I'd rather not get involved in whatever scheme you're cooking up. About that book card Joe gave you. Seems he's searching for a certain book. I hope that eventually book. it. 
Okay. I'll cut you some slack. See you around, Padre. A certain book. <laughs> give this book to Joe. He'll give you a phrase once he gets it. Ask him about the last cookie. That way, I'll know you came through. Otherwise, it's the scandal of the decade. You've gotten hard-boiled, Christine. <sighs> it's part of God's plan. God must want me to do this. Sure. Let's go with that. Since he's typing out this story. Oh, that does make sense. How scandalous. All right, back to Joe. Your old lady asked me to give you this. She said you'd have a phrase for her to show you got it. She says it's about the last cookie. God helps those who help themselves. I got the book. That's the word from the bird. Father. Yes? Did you give Christine the note I gave you? Yeah, she said it'll help her deal with Evan Camfield. Yep, I hope she doesn't run off with what she finds. I got work to do. All right. Time to go. What the hell was the point of all this with the projector, by the way? That didn't seem to be... Like, I did repairs on the speaker and the projector, and it didn't ever seem to do anything or come to anything. Maybe it still will. I don't know. Said your prayers? I have. Try not to wear out the panic button, 1229. So now I have to affect my actual escape, apparently. That ball breaker. You should have seen the thing she wrote. All right, bird brain. I have what you need. Heard you licked gas pipe. You know me? Joe Lyons, married from San Francisco. I'm a truck robbery, then escaped from Leavenworth. I heard you're smart. Permission to enter. I got his permission. Now, I need something to pick the lock. The idea that you could pick a lock on a prison cell door with a nail is absurd. Sit Sitting in his chair. Check. I'll send him a note from Hawaii. Go ahead and start using all his that shit. That sink won't help me. It's not important to my escape. Start fucking with his bird books. I don't need to read bird books. God damn it, I haven't Joe. read much since I got here. I don't have the tools for this job. This will make another eight feet of rope. What? I just walked into his fucking cell and took his sheets and he doesn't object? I'll tie these together. Or notice a full 32 feet of rope. That should do it. It's the bird man. He likes being called Mr. Stroud. <sighs> Any swimming tips? Pace yourself. Keep sighting the shore. Head for aquatic park. They usually have a flashing blue light on. Course, that depends on the fog. Don't fight the waves. Know the current. Breathe on both sides. The water's choppy. The first minute's gonna be a shock. Keep your nerve. Expect to swallow a lot of water. You're from Alaska. Damn straight. 
You have a swam in cold water? Swam? This out here is nothing. They give you hot showers here, so you won't be able to swim in the bay. I found a broken pipe in the shower room. I take cold showers. I've been practicing. Mm, swam, you guys, is apparently a word. Can you tell me something helpful? You know that guard Mason, his wife, who screwed that con. Yeah, I heard. Convict was a handsome pole, blonde, good head of hair, plumber. Guard brought him in to fix the kitchen sink. Guard's wife looks at the plumber. He looks at her. Electricity through her veins. She saw her chance. He knew what she wanted. She sets up pillows underneath the sink, scurries in, pulls off her panties and waits, shaking. Her husband, right in the other room, Scandalous. Con crawls up from under the sink and bangs her in her own kitchen. I didn't see her kitchen. Scandalous. I got a plan. You're using Hank's plan. I came up with that plan. Hank and me are old men. We can't swim 200 yards in that water. So there's the window behind you. What's the rest of the plan? Climb up on the roof, cross it, slip down to the dungeons, go under the island, climb down to the caves, build a raft or swim. You got things lined up on shore? A fast car, false papers? Uh, not yet. You're not going to make it. Okay. I got rope, though. That doesn't need rope. That doesn't need rope. Still have a lot of strange items that I don't know what they're for. I'll keep this plan to myself. I don't have the tools for this job. Don't I, though? Not right now. The lizard wanted to leave his head on his pillow to dodge the head count and then escape underground. Not a bad idea. Though I prefer to keep my head. I gotta make a fake head. In my day, we just called them tramps. Aha, I got the garbage. Gar I already picked up enough trash for a lifetime. Things are coming to a head. Stuffed under a blanket, he might look like a well-fed convict, but something's still missing. Fits. Must have been one of Bumpy's shirts. Shirt plus bag of trash equals surprisingly convincing dummy. Really now? That's what I look like to the screws. Could all end in trashity. Wow. It could, it could, it could, it could all end in. There. That'll fool him in the dark. Sorry, pal, but I'm going to have to lock you up. place more than I did. You take all five I feel like I need room. to get things set up on the outside here. With Christine. About our deal. You promise. Okay. But only if you keep that photo secret. What do you want? Did you give that book to Joe? Yes, I did. Did Joe give you the phrase? God helps those who help themselves. That's what Joe always said when he took the last cookie from the jar. <laughs> nice. I'll cut you some slack. 
See you around, Padre. I think I am going to take that negative to Maddie and and uh, Sutter. I don't think I need the priest for anything now anyway. Fuck them. Caffeine. Fuck them. Besides, they're not the ones that are going to, you know, share. It's their... Oh. Hi, gang. Ain't gonna work. Oh, interesting. I can't give that give it to them. Not here, man, not here. Maddie's happy again. Another marriage saved by lies and coffee. Sutter. <sighs> Not talking to Dale. All right, let's go talk to Vivian about the forgeries or whatever, the documents. It's nice of you to visit. No, it's not. I need fake passports for me and Joe. He's getting an early release. First, you pay your rent. These cost a lot. Shit. What the fuck do I pay my rent? The Chaz record? Gotta run, Viv. Good night. Thanks. About the rent. Oh, that's Thanks. right. I forgot she asked me to look into my records. That's why I've been carrying that around this whole time. It's nice of you to visit. Good call. I completely forgot about that. That's the thing about games that don't have any kind of a journal to remind you of the, you know, the stuff that people ask for and stuff. If you forget something like that, you're kind of out on your ass. I need fake passports for me and Joe. He's getting an early release. I'll need photos and number 32 ink. Where the fuck do I get those I need from? fake passports for me and Joe. He's Wait, getting I've I'll got... need Okay, I've got the photos actually. Got to run, Viv. Good night. Thanks. I have a picture right here. That alone is useless. Viv says she needs two things to forge our passports. Ink and a photo of me and Joe. Doesn't she have ink? She's got gloves with ink on them right here. Yeah. Not getting your drift. They're dripping with ink. Hmm. It's probably not the ink I need, though. That won't get it developed. Maybe... This one looks lucky. Don't touch those. That's her huh. drawer okay, full of ink. Okay, got it. Literally dripping with ink, you guys. Part of Joe's plan for a safe, I guess. It doesn't say where the safe is, though. Sorry, says, I only have number 31 The keys are ink. with Bernadette. Viv, I wish he would. Vivian's sudden shoot. Ah, oh, Bernadette might have ink too, or the writer. Okay. Winter melon ink. <laughs> I need Balinese squid ink. Very specific kind of ink. First place I'm gonna look for ink will be This guy's not gonna give me any fucking ink, but we'll see. I mean 
I have a lot of money here. Hey, what's up, son? How you doing? An old Remington. I think his pistol might be an old Remington, too. He'll shoot me for sure if I touch it. Well, take care. Try not to shoot anyone. Yeah, I'm and not getting any... Write me a bittersweet I'm not getting ink. any ink from this guy. Living better through chemistry? Doesn't surprise me. Although... Better is a relative term. I could have ink at the bookstore. need any particular book right now. Okay, whenever you want. Got to th ink up another plan. Caffeine. Th ink. What's in your bag of tricks? What are you muttering about? You working on a new poem? No, no. Spill, go on. Nuh-uh, what's in my head's my own. I'm working on getting some ink. Just art supplies. Yeah, like ink! <laughs> she likes to sketch here because people hold their poses. Just remember, where there's a co-will, there's a way. What is with these people's fingers? You don't want to know. Hey, tomato. Ah, I can't ask her about ink. I'm sad to say, son, that just before you got here, we literally blackmailed a priest for performing a gay marriage. I felt dirty about it. Got any number 32 ink? I used to. I'll look around. I found some of that ink you needed. I got the ink, ink that back. Vivian needs. Nope, I'm beat. I apparently do not have any shame. We had to do it. You were told to leave a stream last night? Why? What, what were you doing? I can't imagine telling you to leave a stream. Too many puns. Someone posted a link for me, so I responded, Thanks, man. You got told to leave because of that? Oh, but what if I was not a man? Okay, I see the story is ongoing. But what if I was not a man? Replied the link poster. I got the ink and the photos of me and Joe for the passports. Mm, can you hand me some blank passports? Bottom drawer. This one looks lucky. There's those blank passports. Freedom. A new life, a new name. Okay. I'm not good enough to fill these out myself. Look, I'm not a criminal mastermind or anything, as is evidenced by the fact that I very easily got caught robbing a bank. Um, but I'm pretty sure if you have blank passports, you should probably have them hidden a lot better than just in some drawer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, those are like serious crime paraphernalia. Oh boy, here we go. So I replied, because it seemed in good fun. Then I would have misgendered you and should probably feel bad, but frankly, I'm too busy being awesome. 
Doesn't seem unreasonable to me. A streamer piped in and asked me to leave. What? 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 Asked you to leave? Jeez. Here are the blank passports. What country do you want to be from? Let's have American and Canadian. Viv, these look perfect. Keep them in your purse and bend them up a little. I was like, okay then, bye. Yeah. A fresh start for me and Joe. It's nice of you to visit. I got the ink and the photos of me and Joe for the passports. Mm, can you hand- Wait, I already- we already did all that. I don't know what to do. We better ch Gotta run, Viv. Good night. Thanks. Oh. Are we gonna need a getaway car? Am I gonna need to get Dale to help me? Because we know Dale has a car. They made a point of it. person you're talking to took no offense whatsoever. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't seem like that was all that offensive. I mean, first of all, it was only a hypothetical misgendering, not even a real misgendering. It, and even if so, it, it would have been a pure, you know, like, accident, not anything malicious. So, like, it's <laughs> absurd. Should I talk to Dale? God damn it, I'm gonna Caffeine. talk to Dale. Before I talk to Dale, though... I mean, in my experience, people are generally pretty laid back about misgendering if you just- if it's an accident. Like, unless you're literally doing it on purpose to be a dick. I've never seen anybody get upset about it, really. Let's go to Mexico. I haven't been south of market in years. Okay, I can't ask him about using nothing his car, so we're out of here. Fuck you, Dale. Yeah, I'm not even sure you did. Yeah, I don't know why they would get mad at you for that. That seems pretty benign. Sturdy fishing boats. I'm a pretty good sailor. Good idea. I can steal one of those boats when Joe's ready. Okay, I have someday. To, I have to wait for Joe to be ready before I steal the boat. Shit happens. So she takes all five to her bedroom. Alright, so I think I need to, like, kill the power or something. So that, you know... Ooh, nobody will see me getting away. We gotta conserve our resources. Nothing I need to take. I should leave it. If I need it, it's here. A list of fuses and what circuits they protect. Fuses and other small parts. Not one of those situations that require a wrench. Simulants fuck with steady hands, yeah? No. No go. No need for that. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. You call bullshit? Guy okay. Comes out of nowhere. You're painting miniatures half a day while watching Travelers on Netflix. Damn, that FBI guy is a babe. Oh, Travelers. Yeah, I've seen some of that show. It's not bad. I'm doing lines. Um, yeah, so obviously, because you have an anecdotal evidence of one time stimulants didn't fuck with your hands, that means stimulants never fuck with anyone's hands, ever. I think we've made an important scientific discovery today. I don't have the tools for this job. Hands on experience. It's rattling just a little. There, it's bending. No. That's it. I've got enough room. I can fit through. That doesn't look you like you can me. fit through. Climb up on the roof, cross it. Thanks, old man. Apparently, it was just that easy. Phone line. Pretty exposed. Insulation's rotted away. I could snap it, but it might come in handy. The air conditioning vent. It's welded shut. I couldn't fit through anyhow. Looks like the phone line to the tower. Trying to get you to tell me what a dunk raft is called in English in a way that would... I don't know what a dunk raft is. I think it's the same line that runs by my feet. It's a guard I've never met. No yelling at him. He's got a Winchester rifle. Yeah, you never meet the guards that are up in the towers with the rifles. Those particular guards, those particular COs never have actual contact with the inmates. That way they don't develop any kind of relationships with them so that if it comes down to it, they can gun you down without hesitation. Phone line to the Alcatraz switchboard. He's going to touch that phone at some point. They always get bored and call their wives. Hey, what's up, Saito? How you doing? Spotlight. Though he doesn't point it up here. Out of reach. Marin Headlands. The guard will hear. So, I want to do something with the phone line to fuck around with this guy. I've got a phone resistor. Science. Now I just need a phone jack, and I can make a feedback device. We're just making fucking shit up right now. This is some bullshit MacGyver shit. What's a dunk raft called in English? What the fuck is a dunk raft? Describe it! How you doing, Sido? I do have this... Wait, where's that other thing that I had? It's gone. The phone jack thing that I had. Phone line. Pretty exposed. Insulation's rotted away. I could snap it, but it might come in handy. It was a car jack, son. Don't know if that's what you're thinking of, but... Dude, the fucking thing that I had is gone. Not one of the... We gotta conserve our resources. The dungeons. I literally had a thing. I'll keep my dime. Ain't gonna happen. Mm -hmm. 
That doesn't need rope. No go. That doesn't need rope. That doesn't need rope. That doesn't need rope. I could snap it, but it might come in handy. Phone line. Pretty exposed. Insulation's well, rotted away. Well, it's a jack, which is a device you use to lift something. There are different kinds of jacks. This is one designed to lift up a car so you can change the tire. Hence the name car jack. Now why a jack is called a jack, I couldn't tell you. Nope, no going back now. Yeah, that's true, Saito. You never you never meet those guys. If you ever encounter those guys, it's because they're coming in to fucking fuck fuck you up. That you don't they don't hang out talking to inmates or anything. <clears throat> he also liked those popcorn snacks with peanuts, Cracker Jacks. Man, I haven't had Cracker Jacks in ages. I don't understand what, what the deal is with this phone line thing. I had the stuff that I needed for the phone line. He's going to touch that phone at some point. They always get bored and call their wives. Phone line to the Alcatraz switchboard. Yeah, so how do I get him to fuck with the phone? I'll keep my dime. I'll keep my dime. I'm not that desperate. An internet friend who's a prison guard in America. I actually used to be in a World of Warcraft guild, my old raiding guild, with two guys who were COs. No. Super unpleasant work stories about mentally ill people not getting any kind of treatment. Yeah, that's unfortunately common. I mean, I guess maybe I can just go in the dungeons and not worry about this? That guard will shoot me. I got lucky climbing the building. Alright, so how do I get the guard? I think it's the same line that runs by my feet. To go to the phone. What's this air vent for? Also, it seems like I'm missing some of the stuff that I had before. Where did my cleaning chemicals go and my acid and all that? Oh, I may I, I used those to make the smoke screen. But like Have we reached the point where I literally just use everything on everything until something works? Can't combine them. Not one of those situations. Not one of And that's not They won't fit together. Not one of them. No. And that's not going to work. How do I... Nope. No going back now. There's literally nothing I can do back the other way, so... I could snap it, but it might come in handy. I feel like I've made a thing to do something with this phone line when he picks up the phone, but I don't know how to get him to pick up the phone. And that's not going to work. That's a waste. No need for that. He's going to touch that phone at some point. They always get bored and call their wives. Phone line to the Alcatraz switchboard. Do I need to do something with Christine? Seems like the only thing for me to do with here is like... Can barely see through the fog. 
Night, baby. Oh god, I miss him. To just wait and wait and wait. I hate strangers watching my husband. It wouldn't let me go in the dungeon. Just a waste of bread now. Old trash can. Nasty ass fish. Is that what life will be like on the run? Good idea. I can steal one of those boats when Joe's ready. See, so, yeah, so I can't steal. Someday. I can't steal the boat yet. Sturdy fishing boats. I'm a pretty good sailor. Shoot Alcatraz. Shooting around randomly might lead to trouble. Hmm. Doesn't seem like there's anything I can really do with her right now. That would be helpful. A whip made of tanned rhino hide. No one has that. Who would want to whip a rhino? Somebody that's looking to get their ass kicked, I guess. That guard will shoot me. I got lucky climbing the building. Alright, so how the fuck... Do I get this to work? I feel like... Something might have gotten messed up. Oh, I didn't save for a long ass time. No, I only have one. There goes another five seconds of my life. No. No. Oh! Apparently I can check the smoke thing. <laughs> I don't know what that has to do with... the phone thing, but... okay. A simple trick, but effective. Oh look, the fog is rolling in. Old tires guys threw down. They used to make mats from them. If I can use rubber scraps, I'll come back for them. A rusty lock and a weathered door. How am I going to get through this old lock? Like that, I guess. We're just gonna Mr. Kool-Aid my way through there. Oh, yeah! The temperatures dropped 20 degrees. No one to talk to down here but the ghost of Alcatraz. It's literally a ghost of Alcatraz. There's always an old mattress at a dump. Hey, what's up, Jen? How you doing? They've rotted away. Nothing going through these pipes. Fifty years of sludge. These pipes are useless. Just sludge. <laughs> what, what are you up to, Jen? What have you been doing? Have you seen the Mandalorian? The, from the dungeons got washed down this tunnel. It's blocking my way. So good. It'll take a force of nature to clear the way. Supposed to be working? Is there ever a time when you're not working or supposed to be working? Yeah, Saito's moved, which is exciting. Sturdy. Oh, man. The last couple episodes of The Mandalorian are awesome. So awesome. I got a wooden beam. We gotta conserve our resources. Okay. Sturdy. Sounds like there's a lot of pressure in this pipe. Yeah, I think there's water going through there. Through a pipe? What madness is this? Interesting. I can't dig through all this. I don't have time. 
Hmm. Damn. Um. It doesn't seem good. Whatever I just did. Rusted and useless. Someone should have cared for you. That angers me. Slightly. I'm pretty tired now. <laughs> Must have been thrown out 20 years ago. It's keeping secrets filed away. Can I use this beam to get through this wall? No need for that. Sounds like there's a... If I crack it open... Right. That cleared the way. Hope I didn't attract too much attention. Everything about that made total sense. <laughs> okay, hold on. First of all, a metal pipe that carries water? You're going to bash it open with a wooden beam? Secondly, you a little pipe carrying water? You fucking bash a hole in it and it's going to carry a giant pile of rubble with rocks that weigh like fucking hundreds of pounds? Chunks of concrete and shit? It's going to- the little water coming out of a pipe is going to wash that away? Wow. That was the most ridiculous solution in this game so far. That was absurd. I heard something behind me. Oh no! Probably nothing. It was probably something. Oh no, somebody's following me. It's a Zerg. Bro, you're so dead. Divorcing him for his brother. So she takes all five to her bedroom. I don't know if they had electrified fences back in 1954. I think I can see the cave down there. Hard to see in this fog. Ah, the rope. The rope holds. Eight feet of this rope is apparently made out of a towel. So that's how... how good this rope is. So it just force switched me back to Christine. Alright, let's steal them boats. Good idea. I can steal one of those boats when Joe's ready. He's ready. Someday. It's not someday, it's today. Sturdy fishing boats. I'm a pretty good sailor. Just a waste of bread now. Just a waste of bread now. Night, baby. Oh, God, I miss him. What the fuck? It's time. We're ready. Passports on boats. Still not gonna work. Not getting your drift. No. These things are worth more than I earned in the last six months. I don't understand what we're supposed to be doing right now. Do I need to, like, go get the money first? Out of the refrigerator? <sighs> there shouldn't really be anything I need to do with any of these people. I typically don't, didn't see them outside of... Or maybe I need to talk to the mermaid again. Typically didn't see them outside of government facilities. It's possible they didn't have an electric fence on Alcatraz because they're like, LOL, island, nobody's getting away. But that seems like a... I got the loot, I got the passports. Now it's up to you, Joe. Give me the loot, give me the loot. Okay, I did have to go back and get the money. I thought we might go to get the money together at the time when... <gasps> Joe... 
Oh, not this guy Come on, again. Come baby. You follow me. What did he just call Mickey me? Mickey paid you? You were supposed to tell your wife everything. Mickey's gonna have your dame and the loot tonight. Mickey's God dead. damn it, gas pipe. Back off. It's you or me, Joe. Hashtag January. He just called me Tar Baby, you guys. That's very racist. Finish him off. That's like the only option I have. Literally, I had to do it, you guys. The game forced me. That'll come in handy. That's what you have to say after beating a man to death? Gas pipe's little pal. He's gone. If I don't escape tonight, they'll send me to the gas chamber. No. If only there was some way to knock someone unconscious without crushing their entire skull in and killing them. I mean, I understand it's a fine line. Sometimes you can't accidentally kill someone when you're just trying to knock them out. But I feel like he took it further than that. The rope I cobbled together. I can't trap myself here yet. I gotta signal Christine somehow that I'm ready to go. Signal Christine, huh? I made it. The city's so close. I need Christine to meet me. It's gonna take all my strength just to get to shore. How can I contact her now? So much January right now, right? I have a pipe. No go. I guess I have to go back up. Maybe now I can do the thing with the phone? Or the... Hmm... Or, um, hammer the nail into the dead racist just for the lulls. I need that nail. It's my lock pick. Apparently you can pick any lock with a nail. Nope, no going back now. The tower guard will be back up by now. Oh, so I guess I'm not going to go use the spotlight. Old tires guys threw down. They used to make mats for a moment. Oh, am I going to make myself a wrap? If I can use rubber scraps, I'll come back for them. Motherfucker. Not the right pair. Not the right pair. Not the right pair. And that's not going to work. No go. Okay. No. The nail won't do too much good here. Has Joe killed before? Because he was super casual about having killed someone. Yeah, he might have. He was in the war. Yeah, that's right. He he has killed people before. Because he was in the war. He's a war veteran. Now, whether he killed anybody after that, maybe. Because then he was also a criminal after being in the war. So who knows what he's done. You literally can pick any knock lock with a nail, like a fingernail. Yeah, that's how that works. I'm not that desperate. Okay, well... Nope, no going back now. The tower guard will be back up by now. Okay, so I can't go back. How do I signal Christine? Just sludge. Fifty years of sludge. These pipes are useless. They've rotted away. Yeah, I never learned how to pick locks in real life. Someone should have cared for you. That angers me. 
Slightly. I'm pretty tired now. I just broke windows. I kicked down a few. It's keeping doors secrets too. filed away. It's surprisingly easy to kick down a door to a house. Interesting. I can't dig through all this. I don't have time. No. No. I can't trap myself here yet. I gotta signal Christine somehow that I'm ready to go. Am I gonna reflect light off this dime? I'm not that desperate. There goes another five seconds of my life. I'll keep my dime. No go. I made it. The city's so close. I need Christine to meet me. It's gonna take all my strength just to get to shore. How can I contact her now? Can I just switch to her? Oh, it won't let me switch to her. I'm locked into Joe right now. Wait, what? Medical TV show episode. Paramedic glued a guy's ruptured belly together with super glue. I've actually heard about people using super glue for like emergency medical care. Sometime later, cut a groove in my hand with an angle grinder and didn't have time to go get stitches. I got out the super glue. Medical super glue does not equal regular super glue. <laughs> it's a great, a great lesson to learn. Thaumaturge at her. I mean, he gave me yeah, this pipe for a pal. reason, right? There goes another five seconds of my life. No go. What the fuck am I supposed to do with this pipe? Here goes another five seconds of my life. Besides... Lay it. One works with an endothermic reaction, the other does the opposite. Ah! I'm pretend like I know what any of that means. Start using pipes on er no. everything. There goes another five seconds of my life. Okay, apparently piping the brick wall for some reason is what I need to do. That was a little unintuitive. Why would you honestly just randomly break through this wall? It's an air raid shelter from the 40s. Looks like the teens on the island have found it. The teens on the island?! This is fucking Alcatraz! Why are there teens hanging out on the island? What?! <laughs> Chemical burns all over the back of my hand. I'm sorry to hear that. Sato, you said your new place is smaller than your old place, right? The Alcatrazian teen populace. The fuck? The teens of the island? Wait, is there some sort of weird Lord of the Flies thing going on here? Outside of the prison walls? Don't worry. Even if they get away, the feral teens will get them. Went to the ER with half a roll of toilet paper glued and duct taped to my hand. Eesh, that sounds terrible. Place is just teeming with life. Couldn't you have just wrapped some cloth, like a shirt or something around your hand, and just gone straight to the hospital without doing all that other crazy shit? Old bottles and packages. Moldy packages, labels peeling off. Cornflakes, macaroni... Instant rice. It's all evaporated or rotted away. No. If Fallout games have taught me anything, it's that packaged food will sit around and be perfectly good to eat for any amount of time if kept in a place like this. 
I should be able to just be nomming on sugar bombs right now. Milded booklets on air raid safety. They're nothing but pulp. Duct tape. Duct tape. Saves your life in all kinds of situations. It's not... Only a fool would leave this behind. It's true. Always take duct tape. It's D-U-C-T tape, though. Duct tape. Although I do think there's a brand of duct tape called duct tape. But Good still. old duct tape. I feel safer already. So I am going to build a raft, I think. Not badly constructed. They've hardened into pillars of stone. Ram the pillars. That's a waste. The ladder collapsed years ago. If I want to go up, I got to fix it. Oh. I need something to lash these parts together. I got to fix this ladder. Okay. Whiskey bottles. <clears throat> empty. It's empty. Too bad. I could use some antifreeze in my system. Uh, it's a lot smaller than your last one and further from the university. Computer room is super tiny, but it's new and has air conditioning. Air conditioning sounds like a good trade-off. Took you a while to give up on the idea that you can continue working, I see. Queen to a twin XL bed. Bigger than your old kitchen. Hmm. Duct tape is guaranteed to repair breaks and quacks in material. Quacks in material? I can't even keep a straight face. That's twice in one stream I had to do full cam camera stare, Knox. So you've really outdone yourself. Quacks in material. European appliances that bleedle and boop when I open them? What? Hashtag camera stare. Quacks in material, he says. Old bags of flour and grain. Dried fruit. Instant potatoes. Rats got to it. Looking Nothing rats. worthwhile here. It's all rotten. Maybe it held fresh water at some point. It's gone bad. It's full of green muck. Just like. I can't use it. Alright, ladder piece. Let's fucking slap some tape on this Don't pipe. Waste the duct tape. Okay, let's slap this pipe on no here. No need for that. All right, let's slap this tape on here. That should do it. It's that simple. Just tape the ladder. Fridge has a special thing. Looks like a ladder to me. That looks like a shit I don't shit think it'll piece. hold my weight. Yeah, no I shit. I should find a way to stabilize it. I don't want to break any bones. That looks like ass. Wait. Specially chill bottles to zero degrees without freezing them. What? How is that possible? Makes duct tape a very useful component in building supplies. Wow. I hope that there'll be no feather jokes in this vein. I call foul on this. Do you need it? I have a fridge like that. Very useful for ice time. But apparently it doesn't actually make it into ice. I actually stole your fridge. Nice. There we go. Let's lay some pipe. Perfect. Now it should carry me. Yeah, I would definitely trust in a broken ladder that's just had some duct tape and a pipe applied to it. What could go wrong, you guys? Your life and your quest end here.
Oh shit, is that Mason? It is Mason. Officer Mason, the one who walked the island with me. It made me fix all this crap. I can use it to call the city, to call Christine. Oh, I see. Push into his death? No, what? Don't do that! Push into his death? No! The fuck? Oh, damn. Think I cracked the rib. Damn you, gas pipe. Hey, is that you? Oh, oh. no. <laughs> You're not my Mrs. Husband. Mason. <laughs> The inmate Hello, fucker. Hello, tall, dark, and handy. I got time for oh, this. No. Do not have time for this. The power junction. I repaired this. Yeah, I did a good job. Seems like ages ago. Better not. I need the phone. When they dislocated us to the shitty old folks' home, we weren't allowed to take fridges and whatnot with us. Just across the street from my old digs, the center council which is responsible for this whole shit show has their offices, so my maid and I walked in and stole their fridge. Seems reasonable. Did you then stack a bunch of fridges up in the street and climb up on top of them to get on a statue? Because that's the most reasonable thing to do with stolen fridges. Looks in good shape. Where I end up, we may not even have electricity. The building will panic. Everyone will run here to fix it. It's the public phone. Pay phone. A line to the city. Let me guess. It costs one dime to use. I can see into their living room. Empty wine bottle on the table. I don't need to go there. I got troubles enough. Trouble in... Way into trouble. Trouble in my way. The guard's wife, pacing around. I'm in prison, just like you. No, you're I'm not. I'm stuck in this iron lung, just like you. No, you're God actually not. No, that is not a good idea. No, you're right, it's I not. I do not I'm need just... hostages. No distractions. Don't change the plan. I need to arrange a pickup on shore. That's it. Fridge revenge. Well, revenge is a dish best served cold. Remember that when making an appliance tower, the structure could be very fragile and fall apart when you try to climb it. You have to have duct tape for building a stable. Oh, now look what you've started. A public phone. I need a dime. What happens if you get to this point in the game and you didn't get the dime? Are you just fucked? Shit. Shit. The dime is stuck. God damn it. I have to call Christine. And now I'm out of dimes. Mm. Damn. The dime was a red herring. Uh, that nail. No, the nail won't do too much good here. Uh, wrench. I'm not that desperate. Okay. Shiv handle. There goes another five seconds of my life. Wedding ring? I'd only take it off if I was in a really tight spot. You have to sell your body to the wino woman. I guess so. No, that is not a good idea. What? I do not need hostages. But I... No distractions. Don't change the plan. But I, I can't use I need the phone to now. Yeah, yeah. I can't use the phone now, though. I have to call Christine, and now I'm out of dimes. Damn. Uh, can I reach in the window and grab a dime? I don't need to go there. I got troubles enough. What if I go way into trouble? Too many guards with too many guns. Hmm. Let's see. If I bridge this connection with something metal, 
I can use the phone for free. You look hurt. You need medicine? Go to bed, Mrs. Mason. I was never here. Hey. Hey, you heard me. Don't yell. Don't make me yell. <laughs> what do you think of that? Oh, my God. My husband's out all night. Just come sit with me. I'm dying. I'm so alone. This fucking woman. I need something metal. My nerves of steel won't do. The guard's wife, pacing around. I'm in prison. No, just you're not. Like you. I'm scared of bed. Yeah, he basically is, is a guy that can fix anything. As we've, I have a wrench. Not one of those situations that. He says that way too often. Every situation requires a wrench. No, the nail won't do too much good here. He's like, if only I had something metal. Well, here's some metal things. No, not metal enough. I'm not that desperate. Don't tell me I got to use my wedding ring. Okay. What? This is hacks. Awful late. Who are you phoning? Come inside. It's cold. Okay. Yukon 5859. Making a call? Uh, Come on, Christine. Pick up. A very specific amount and type of metal. The fuck Let's is going on here? Hold on! I'm out there trying to get a For boat! Once, I'm the one providing the booze and snacks. To, Enjoy yourselves! To go get my husband, and now all these assholes are in my apartment? Why the fuck is Dale here? Who is this guy? Who's this spoon lord? What happens if I just don't answer it? <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of stuff to look at in this room, you guys. A lot of people to talk to. I can't just be going answering things immediately. I'll enjoy the company of my friends as long as I can. Who knows when I'll see him again? Oh my god, why are these people here? As promised, here we are at my poetry party. It's worthless now. The gang. Those handsome fools. I'll just have to remember you, goats. He's sitting there see you again. going, why the fuck isn't she answering the phone? It's all worn out. I feel the same. No more printing. I finished the magazine, 100 copies. And there's a $20 bill printed in every one. Oh, nice, because I had the counterfeiting thing. Those elephant teeth never sounded the same since Mickey busted them up. No last song to buy. One turns into another, and I'll be here till dawn. I published the opening chapter of his new book in my mag, sending it to some cats I know in Paris. They should flip. Is this the gun-happy author? I invited him to my home after he pointed a gun at me like six times? You're leaving us. Not likely. I'm afraid to leave this room. Why do you think I have all you lunks over? Do you foresee trouble? Inescapable. I guess what happens next is already written. For the squares, we write as we go. Everything about this just makes total sense. No drugs left. I hope I won't be clean and sober long. A sentiment that Son Gniff can get behind. No, it's empty. Hey gang, take any records you want. Any booze, too. Oh, you've already done that. I don't have time to hear more. I still have this gun, interestingly enough. Are, did we seriously pile sandwiches on the record player? We'll buy a new one someday. I don't have time to disc jockey. Goldie. Oh, the mermaid's here. It was a big haul getting her out of the taxi and up the stairs. How's your boyfriend? I'll meet him at the pier later. You should come sailing with us sometime. Yes. You used to sail? Sailing to the island. Bernadette's all cleaned up. Must have sold that painting. I think she's happy up there. High on Velo. I love that the phone's just continually ringing. I'll enjoy the company of my friends as long as I can. Who knows when I'll see him again? 
Having fun? Yeah. How'd you buy all this great wine? Came into some money. Long story. What? Our fucking... His stash? The money that he's in prison for? That we need to escape and start a new life? She's spending that money on throwing this stupid party? The fuck? Divorce. Just divorce. Having fun? Yeah. How'd you buy all this great wine? Came into some money. Long story. She looks happier. I'm doing a photo essay for life. I want you to write captions. It's about the beats. I can't. I'm skipping. No, things are just heating up. Write down what happens. I'll read it in a book someday. Unless it was forged money, I guess. Me oh, fucking Dale. What is he He's even doing? Me. Such a cute smile. No, it's not cute. Dale, baby. Let's go to Mexico. What? No, I'm never leaving this city. I haven't been south of Market in years. Could you say that joke one more time? A boat key. Must be from that captain she's dating. Oh, let's no, take that. I have no reason to steal a boat. The fuck you don't! When we were on the pier, she literally said, Oh, I'll steal a boat when it's time to go get Joe. Big world out there. Now I'll see the world for real. Has she just forgotten completely about the Joe thing? I already know it's tricks. See him soon. I'm dying here. I guess she hasn't. Too big to take on the run. I hope some friends do. Look at this guy. Cheeky. No, control yourself. I'm almost with Joe. No, control yourself. I'm almost with this Joe. This scene is so fucking weird. And, like, it just seems so out of place at this point in the narrative. Why is this even happening? Try to trick me into helping with another play. I hate to break up a pair. I ran Sutter's Martian poem in my magazine. I hate to break up a pair. I'll miss you. Bye, love. Don't walk in Bernadette's pain. I'd take him, but it might be too dangerous. We're not taking the cat on our fucking fugitive run. Bills to pay. Fuck See that. Ya, suckers. Let them try and find me. Alright, well, maybe I should get the phone, you guys. <laughs> what do you think? Do I want to answer? What do you mean, do I want to answer? answer? Oh, yeah, she doesn't actually know it's Joe calling. I guess she'd have no reasonable expectation that it would be, so. Hello? What? Hey, keep it down! Yes, this is she. Hey, baby, it's your old friend, Mac. The fuck is Mac? Who? Oh. Oh, wow. I heard you were dying to meet me. I am dying to meet you. I love your voice. Do you? Oh. What's wrong? I'm hurt. I don't think I can make it all the way to the beach. Oh, no. Joe. The buoys. Swim to the southwest buoy. It's only 200 yards. I'm coming for you. Take me too. Who's that? What? No one. I I'll explain later. <laughs> I'm not no one. God damn it, Mrs. Uh. Mason. I gotta go. Yeah. No time for that. Joe's out there. So he's only got to swim 200 yards in choppy water with broken ribs. No problem. Easy peasy. I need a boat. And Goldie said she's dating a captain. Oh, do I now suddenly need to take her key? How's your boyfriend? I'll meet him at the pier later. You should come sailing with us sometime. You How used to sail? We do that right now. You promised you'd help us out. It's an interesting way of calling in a debt. You promised you'd help us out, so I'm just gonna steal your key without your knowledge. And we'll just call that you helping us out. A boat key, stolen from a mermaid. 
Well then, see you later, guys. Hopefully not. They're all a bunch of schlubs. Now I need to get to the bay and swim. This Christine go will be waiting. I know she will. It's fixed. It's all fixed now. Shut up, go Mrs. To bed. Mason. Tomorrow I'll be gone. It was just a bad dream. I'm concerned that Mrs. Mason is going to fuck this up for me somehow. Too many guards with too many guns. Just go. Can I kill the power? Better not. I need the phone. No, I don't. The building will panic. Everyone will run here to fix it. Hmm. No, that is... All right. I do not need... Okay, we're I going. To... Okay, we're going. Are we actually escaping? No, I'm not pushing C.O. Mason to his death. He has to die the death of it by a thousand cuts of being married to Mrs. Mason. Alright, I guess we're gonna try this incredibly good swim we're gonna do here. Pushy, pushy, push. It's gonna take all my strength just to get to shore. Here we go. <gasps> I don't know that Mason was all that decent, really. Oh, Detective Creepy was definitely what The detective and I have been expecting you. What? It's what? Over. Thanks to you, my family has already taken care of Mickey. The Don doesn't know about the money, so we two decided to split it. You shouldn't have gotten yourself involved in this. Hot twist. I'm so sorry we gotta kill you and your husband. No one's killing the girl. Grassy, you idiot. You expect her to keep quiet if her husband dies? The detective is working with the mobster? What is this shit? I mean, I, I do have a gun, but I don't think I can just, like, gunsling these guys down. But gr I can get Grassi on my side, right? He's got the hots for me. He's eager to shoot someone. I can't give up the loot now. Give me the loot. Give me the loot. Smells like just another day at the pier. Detective Grassi. Does he have eyes for me or the loot? I think he still has feelings for me. That's my one chance. It's time for some Joe science. Oh, it won't let me save right now. It literally will not let me save. There's the, you can't go to the menu. Escape does nothing. Talk about kicking the bucket. If I do that right now, they'll all just shoot me. I should set these guys against each other. Then we'll have a real party. If they see me reach for it, they'll shoot. I figured out your plans, and left a letter with my beat friends. If you kill me, it'll be in every paper in the morning. Knox Bluff. That's true. A lot of your friends are gonna die tonight. Along with you, your husband, and anyone who knows about the dough. Too late for dessert? Huh? Sorry, beautiful. You should have gone with me. You just want the money, right? Nothing personal. No point in getting mixed up in a homicide. The money's yours. You won. I've got nothing. I can't go to the cops, obviously. We can't let you rescue Joe. I tapped your phone. He's got to die out there. <clears throat> We're going to wait here together till it's through. Guess that's how it's got to be. You're all copper. You can't be bribed or scared. Now yeah, you're taking right. orders from alley rats. You're the one who should call the shots. Yeah. Careful, Grassy. You go down that road, you'll regret it. What happens if I just try to just January this guy? Could I outdraw him? Uh, I gotta use my head. No, he's literally already drawn his gun and it's pointed at you. 
<laughs> the outdraw him ship has fucking sailed. <laughs> Could I outdraw him? Yes, but what do you think about this matchbook? The matches are old and sweat stained. Hopeless. You're in charge. The detective is indebted to the family. I'm in charge. The cash is mine and my family's. Shut up. Grassi worked his way up from beat officer to detective. The men in his family defended the beach for what, three generations? Yeah. He served his country, he got medals from the mayor. You think you can boss us around because you got a fancy suit? We're three people at the edge of the world. I need your help, he wants me dead. You don't have to listen to me, but you don't have to listen to him either. Yes, he does. Shoot her, Grassi. Right between the eyes. What the hell are you doing? Put your hands on your head. You're under arrest. It's over. The Dawn will have your head for this. And hers. Why did this guy just not shoot me? He's eager to shoot someone. Don't you see? It's over. Shut it. I could probably shoot him now, maybe, but I don't want to have to. Well, what do you want? I tell him what he wants. Grassi, me, or the cash? I want you and the cash. Predictable. Well, I'm not stopping you. You'll die tonight, and so will your husband. Do you really expect him to cross his family? He'll kill me, and take all the money, and then turn the mob against you. Where's your prize? You want me? You want a fortune? You gotta earn it. No! Oh, sorry. I could never be with a okay. murderer. <laughs> you made all that up, didn't you? You mean about you and me? I was scared. I don't even know what I said. It was good. Whoa. The You're under arrest. Cut the games. Wait, what? What are you doing? What? What? He's got the gun trained on you, and you just casually put your pull your gun out and point it at him. She would be so fucking dead if this was a real cop. Except for the fact that he has the hots for him. Maybe I'm not gonna shoot him. If I don't have to. Take the loot and walk away? You're getting a promotion for this. Obviously this was a gangland hit. Please. The fuck is going on right now? You're a good girl at heart, I know it. Don't throw away your life. What? Why is he letting her go, even? Joe? Joe, is that really you? I can barely see you. I'm shaking just looking at him. He did give her back the counterfeit money printing plates in exchange for dinner, that's true. He was kind of an idiot. And he just got played like a fiddle. Why didn't you trust me with the money? I was wrong. I thought it would protect you from Mickey. I'm sorry. That does actually make some sense. Don't you want to know if I got the loot? Well, I did. I nearly died, too. We'd be quite a team if we paired up again. Christine, what's wrong? I... we need to sort this out first. The fuck? Sort what out? Let's go. We're good. You used it all to throw a huge beat party. <laughs> yeah! Why didn't you trust me? Because I knew you'd do some dumb shit with it.
No, that's not why. I don't give a fuck about these things. I was so close with Dale. We're not squares. That's all you gotta say? Wow. I was gonna say I need to talk to my lawyer, but he got me sent to Alcatraz. Joe, this is serious. Do you think we can still make it work? You think getting hitched was a mistake? Never got a chance to find out. I found out nothing can break what we got. I still love you. I always will. That's gotta be worth something, right? You always could fix things. I'll give you that. But we're not out of it yet. This is gonna be a bitch of a getaway. I've done some bad things. I had to make some tough calls, Joe. Can't be worse than me. I got a lot of people killed. I blackmailed. She's like, so okay. It was worse than I me, stole. then. Baby, that's all I do. <laughs> I'm a train wreck. Then we're perfect for each other. You always knew what to say. Leave without him? Fuck no. What? We will go We go to all this trouble to get this motherfucker out and set all this up, and now you're gonna leave without him? Cut the games. You know what? We both did things we weren't proud of. Let's forget it and start again. They're like, hey, our game has multiple endings. You can do the, the regular thing or we, there's an alternate ending that's just dumb and makes no sense that you could also do for no reason. Shoot Joe should have been an option at this point. I mean, that's it. There's no like ending narration, just the end, huh? Wow. Well, that was, um, whatever the fuck you call this game. 1954 Alcatraz. I gotta say, it wasn't very good, you guys. At no point was this game particularly good. The beginning wasn't good. The middle wasn't good. The end wasn't good. I mean, it wasn't terrible. It was a passable adventure game, I guess. The concept was theoretically interesting, but the the execution was pretty ass, honestly. Basically every other adventure game I can think of that I've played on stream was better than this one. It was okay, I mean... It's not like it was a bad game. If you really like adventure games, you can get this game super cheap on GOG. So if you just want to play lots of adventure games, then sure, you know, you might as well spend a small amount of money on GOG and get this and play it. But it's not really something I, I'm going to be telling people about like, oh, have you played 1954 Alcatraz? If not, you're missing out. Best game of the decade! I mean... It was alright, I guess. At no- at really at no point was I all that entertained by this game. There wasn't much in it that was touching. There wasn't much in it that was funny. There weren't really any interesting puzzles or challenges that you had to figure out that made you feel like, Oh, I'm smart. Um, I don't feel like it really explored any social issues in any interesting ways. It really, it just really wasn't much of anything other than just a thing you could experience. As, as adventure games go, it's... Probably one of the worst I've played. It's not offensively bad or anything. 
It's just, you know, not really good, you know? It was weird. Yeah, a lot of things just felt off with, like, things that happened in the story or, like, dialogue or whatever. People said things that didn't make a lot of sense. <clears throat> Uh, there was the Chinese opera. Yeah, 1954 Alcatraz. Can't say that I really loved it. See, this game wasn't actually made by Daedalic Entertainment, is what you have to understand. Daedalic's made a lot of really good adventure games really good adventure games. This wasn't actually made by Daedalic. This was published by Daedalic. It was made by some other rando developer that you've never heard of. So, I don't really count this one against Daedalic. <clears throat> but there it is. We, we've experienced it. I don't even feel like trying to load my save and seeing what happens if you do the other thing. It, it doesn't seem like it'll be rewarding or interesting. The game assumed Christine and Joe were going to cheat with everyone they could, and the dialogue kind of fed into that without alternate considerations of if you resisted doing that. I guess. Now, I do feel like there might have been some other escape plan you could have done. Um... Because there were things that implied that, like, that I could have escaped a different way. If there was if there was a different way you could have escaped, that's kind of interesting, I guess. And maybe things could have gone differently on Christine's side, you know, if I'd made some different decisions with her. Maybe she could have run away with Dale or some shit, which would be a repugnant ending, but, you know... <clears throat> Just in general, it was kind of just mediocre, really, quite mediocre. So, there you go, 1954 Alcatraz. That's been my playthrough of it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. This has been Josiah Plays, 1954 Alcatraz.